Hell in a Cell. As Finny Mac would say, Hell in a Cell. That is what's main event in tonight's show, guys. Main event, we're having a rematch. Samoa Joe wants his rematch clause tonight. He's taking on Brock Lesnar. Uh, rivalry's on the cooldown. I don't know if that will affect our rating, but we do have a power card to use. Uh, no, we, have to, we actually have to buy it first, okay? <laughs> 50 grand, I think it'll be worth it. We're going to purchase that. We're going to use that tonight. Boom. One randomly booked Hell in a Cell match on your show will receive a higher than normal rating. We're also going to buy this. Block an opposing brand from booking the most popular superstar next week's show. It didn't work out too well for his last time, but I feel like we need to go all out now. We need to try and stop SmackDown. So I'm going to buy this. That's uh, 50 grand, I think that just cost, and we're going to go and use it. So we don't know who it is, whether it's the man's champion or the women's champion, but I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, what we're going to do now, let's go into Sign Legends and let's see if we can bring back. Who can we bring back? -na 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 -na. Five time champion, Booker T, five time world champion. We're going to bring back Booker T. And uh, yeah, we'll sign that legend. Uh, yeah, we need, we need a big name for SummerSlam. Booker T is going to be the big name. We're going to have. We'll have blah, Bobby Lashley calling it Booker T, basically saying. You're done. You're not the man anymore. I'm the man. Uh, I'm the black man. Or maybe, can we have Booker T then calling it Bobby Lashley? Yeah, that what seems to do better. Since he's got five promo skills. So, boom. We'll do that. So, um, Booker T can call it Bobby Lashley for, I don't know, being a bully or something like that. Fuck it. Uh, we've got Randy Orton calling out Lesnar in the first one. Opener. We've got another tag match. We've got Seth Rollins, Montez Ford. And then this is the main event, guys. It is what it is. We've got, I think we've got to go for it. Need to pick all the most expensive things here as we try and book the best show possible. And with that said, let's get into the show. $156,000. So, interesting. I knew it was going to be expensive, but uh, that is a little bit more expensive than I would have liked. But fuck it, we'll go with it. Let's see how tonight's show goes then. So, open the match. Morgan and Banks versus Raquel Gonzalez and Becky Lynch. It's a win for Becky Lynch and Raquel Gonzalez. An amazing match. That's what I like to see. Four stars. Very, very good. Uh, got Randy Orton calling it. Brock Lesnar. Excellent promo. The new rivalry now is level one. We've got Seth Rollins versus Montez Ford. Big win for Seth Rollins. He needed that after losing to Damian Priest at the pay-per-view three-star match. We've got Booker T calling it. Bobby Lashley got goals to one star rivalry. And now main event is Samoa Joe, Brock Lesnar. We'll play as Brock Lesnar. We'll see if we can retain the belt. We've got one championship win for Joe. We've got one championship win for Lesnar. Who will win this rubber match decider when it's inside hell in a cell? What a match this is, guys. Spoiling it on Raw. Giving that away on free television, man. Where else would you get it? Where else would you get it? Here we go, then. WWE Championship on the line. Joe doesn't look the same. Last time we seen him, he was coming down with that title around his shoulder. Now he looks awful bare. He looks naked. Nobody wants to see some Joe naked. So hopefully, well, maybe he'll win back the title tonight. Maybe he won't. I guess we'll find out. Down and down and down. It's Brock Lesnar time. It's the champ. The beast. The champion. The man with the belt. Oh, 
Well, Leicester taking his time there. I was wondering, was he ready to defend his belt or was he in the back taking a shit or something? I don't know. It took him a while to come out, but here he is. Brock now circling the ring from all your tactics here, maybe trying to off-put Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe just ignoring Brock Lesnar, not even looking at him. And Brock looks pretty happy for a guy that's about to step inside the hell in the cell, but I mean, who knows, Brock will probably like this. It's right up Brock's alley. WWE World Champion. Brock Lesnar's the current champion. He wants to leave tonight with the belt again. Introducing the challenger from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds. Samoa well, Samoa Joe then. Fingers in the air. Will he be getting his hand raised in there though after this match? Brock Lesnar the champion. Just standing there. He doesn't fear it. He doesn't fear shit. And there you go. Title lifted in the air. Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. Hell in a cell. Referee rings the bell. Here we go. Brock. Yeah, elbow to the big fat head, Samoa Joe and now Brock with strikes, Samoa Joe with a forearm, Brock with a boot to the midsection and Brock now opening up here with strikes and a big massive clothesline for Lesnar. And Lesnar, I don't know what he went for there, maybe a suplex that Joe countered but Lesnar fighting back. And where's, where's Joe going? Joe on the outside looking for a weapon perhaps. We've got the baseball bat. Right, okay, we know how we know how ringside combat works. Let's just get on with this. <laughs> Lesnar goes flying over the steel steps. Joe fighting his way out, refusing to get his head smashed into the barricade, and Lesnar gets thrown around ringside. Lesnar's disappeared. We can't see him at the moment. Brock, big European uppercut, and now Joe sliding over the steps, and, and Lesnar again getting tossed about here, in between the ring and the cage, big European uppercut again to Lesnar, and Lesnar goes flying into the cell, Lesnar gets a big face full of steel, and he gets slammed into it again. And a big strike for Samoa Joe. But Lesnar fights back. Both these guys just strike at each other. Lesnar, an all European uppercut. And he just bashes Samoa Joe's head into the ring post. And Lesnar again goes into the steel. Lesnar trying to momentarily get away from Joe. And then he just tosses Joe across the ringside here. Big stomp from Lesnar. Lesnar striking away at Samoa Joe. A big right hand again. Another shot. Samoa Joe bashes Lesnar into the steel. And another big strike for Joe, for Lesnar, and Joe now tossed into the ring. And Lesnar now looking underneath for a toy. And it's table time. It's table time. Lesnar then looking to maybe put Joe away here. 
Dual counters, Joe with a big forearm. Lesnar goes downstairs with the counter of his own. Joe with a knee. Joe with big strikes and Joe with a big massive clothesline. And now it's Joe with the table. Some more Joe. Perhaps in the ascendancy here, in the driver's seat. Lesnar trying to get back to his feet. Lesnar counters. Big strike for Joe. Lesnar again battling out though. Joe goes into the corner. Again it's Lesnar though. Just cannot seem to put Joe away. Joe! Oh, Joe with a German suplex through the table. Some more Joe. And now he's bashing Lesnar's leg off the canvas. But Joe Lesnar's fighting back. Lesnar was bashing Joe here. Shots to the back of Samoa. And it was Lesnar who got German suplex through the table. Almost got German to his boots. And what's Lesnar doing here? Lesnar. Yeah, now he's going to go back underneath. And he's going to go for another table. And Samoa just slamming Lesnar into the steel steps again. Lesnar then sliding over the steel steps. Samoa Joe throws Lesnar inside. And Samoa Joe again here. Going for the steel, not the steel the table, <laughs> the wooden table. Joe. Lesnar, where's he going? Big strike. Lesnar goes behind Joe. And Lesnar again. Going for the German suplexes, and he's landing them on Joe. Samoa Joe getting tossed across the ring. And now Lesnar has got the table. Lesnar, oh, Lesnar was going to, I think Lesnar was going to go for it. Lesnar getting slammed into the mat. And now Samoa Joe unleashing these big right hands on Lesnar's head. But Lesnar ducks it the way that knee. Lesnar's got Joe up. And Samoa Joe. Oh, almost through the table. That's a massive F5. Samoa Joe then Irish whip. Lesnar goes into the table. Samoa Joe looking for a minute. Oh, Samoa Joe with a table and suplex through the table. Samoa Joe. Scott Brock Lesnar in trouble. But Joe not taking advantage. What was he waiting on? Big knee. Takes Joe down. Joe now in the middle of the ring. Lesnar, Lesnar. Big elbow drop. Massive elbow drop for Lesnar. And he, is he this time going to put Joe away? He's got him up. Lesnar. F5 on Joe. Into the cover. Free and Brock Lesnar picks up the win. What a victory that was, man. F5. On to the broken pieces of the table. Some more Joe, so close to winning. But in the end, we brought Lesnar with the victory. Look at the remains of the table. The table's just sitting there, broken pieces. Just like some more Joe. Some more Joe's chances of regaining that belt broken in pieces. And that should surely put an end to this Joe Lesnar rivalry. Brought Lesnar pulling at the win when it mattered most. And Brock Lesnar is still your WWE Champion. What a victory for the Beast. Legendary match. Five stars. I mean, if that's not enough to help us beat SmackDown, what will be? But then again, I thought we would beat SmackDown based on what happened at the pay-per-view, and it didn't happen. So let's see if we beat them this time. Surely we have. I think that, that five-star match has to do it.
So let's see what SmackDown's got going here. Tag team match. Level 4 rivalry. Three and a half stars. Got Balor. Cutting a cell promo. His popularity has went up. Got Ivor and Brian Kendrick. I didn't know these rivalries were still going. Apparently they are. Well, that one's not. Two star. I mean, that's a really poor match. I'm, I've got a feeling that we should beat them now. Although they do have a decent main event. Nicky Ash versus Mandy Rose. Extreme Rules. It does okay. Two and a half stars. I think we should beat... I think we should massively beat SmackDown. I mean, come on, look at that. Every match we did was better so far. I mean, we must annihilate them in the ratings this week. Uh, match card quality show, we did an A. That is insane. Fan change, 44.6 thousand. Someone's tweeting about Booker T being back in the ring. You will see Booker T back in the ring, but for now, you're going to have to wait. A fan change of 44.6 thousand. What did SmackDown do? Smackdown did Smackdown did 16.6 Holy shit We beat Smackdown by 30,000 That's insane What a massive win for us We needed that We absolutely needed that We've clawed A good portion Of the fans back That we've lost At the pay-per-view And uh, yeah I know we're still behind Overall In the, the ratings But I mean that's That's massive for us To get back there uh, Brock Lesnar My friends and family Have been waiting so long To see me compete live In Minneapolis can't wait to entertain them tonight. So I guess Brock wants to be in a match tonight, fair enough. Uh, Samoa Joe, look, Brock has been handing me nothing but losses. Isn't there someone else? Yeah, of course. Okay, Samoa Joe. I think you and Brock Lesnar's up. Um, this is just what I need to get back in my head game, okay? Samoa Joe's morale's increased. Uh, let's see what the ratings look like then. So yeah, you can see we've brought it back massively after that last show. And hopefully we can push on now. Uh, power cards available. <laughs> 20. Prevents a random superstar on an opposing show from competing in next week's show. You know what? We're actually doing that well at the moment. I don't think we need to veto a random superstar. I think we actually can win on our own. So we will look to be doing that. And uh, yeah, next week we just need to book a good show, man. Try and get some momentum. Try and claw back the ratings. Hopefully by the time we get to the end of SummerSlam, if we can try and get the fan... Support to within 50,000 of SmackDown. That would be massive. That's what the aim is going to be, guys. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then leave a like, leave a comment. I appreciate you all for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you on the next one. But until then, thanks for watching and peace.